Whew. Man, this is this is a hike. This was a hike. Whew. Ooh, buddy. Hopefully no one's here. All right. We're here. Thank technology for Google Maps. I found this place. I never fished here before. Never tried it. Have no idea what's here. But we'll find out. Today, I'm gonna try a Euro Tackle Stonefly. 1.2 inches. A little 132nd ounce jig head. Water's going pretty quick. So I think the little pools next to the running water might be holding some fish, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. I'm not sure how deep it gets in this spillway, so we're gonna start just under two feet. Uh -uh. See if we can get anything to hit. I'm gonna try right here at the edge first. Right when the water stops. Oh, there's a fish. And it's a tiny yellow perch. There we go. A little four inch yellow perch. See ya. That can't be the only thing there, right? Tiny yellow perch. Let's see. There we go. There's another perch. <sighs> oh, they're getting bigger. <laughs> Last one was about four inches. This one's about five and a half, six. See ya. Now that time I wasn't doing anything to it. I was just letting the current do its thing and move the bait around, just like that. Ah, oh, it's got another hit. Yeah, I guess that's the deal. Don't do anything to it. Just let let the water swish the bait around. I guess the fish come. Got another perch. Same size. You got to be careful of these spines on these perch. They will get you. Move that down. You can hold the gill plate, and that's a better way to to get them off. If you if you hold them by their gill plate, they won't stab you. But these things, these are sharp. They get you. There's another one. Another perch. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. These perch don't have much size to them. But they're a lot more fun than catching bluegill all day. Yeah. Well, that's two casts in a row. I'm going to keep the video going. See how many I can get. There's three. It's three casts in a row. There's definitely, they're stacked down there. They're stacked, all right. Hold them by the gill plate, so you won't stab. About the same size. 
Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes since I got a bite last. So I'm going to walk around, go around the spillway here, and go over the other side over there, where it's a slack, t a slack pool over there. See, it seemed like this was stuffed with yellow perch over here. Maybe that one's, maybe that one's got some crappy in it or something else. Maybe some bigger perch. Crappy. We'll see. I'll see you over there in a couple seconds. And we've made it to the other side. See if there's anything lingering around here. Looks a lot shallower on this side. I can see the bottom through most of it right here. That really doesn't mean anything. There we go. And it's another perch. Got the same size again. Nano jigs are sharp. Not same size. Look how fat he is. So tiny, but so fat. He's eating everything down there. And it's another yellow perch. I've honestly, I've lost count on how many of these I've caught this size, too. Lost count. But hey, any fish is a good fish. It's March 2nd. It's about 57 degrees outside. Spring is coming. In uh, just over two weeks, I'm going to be starting uh, tournaments again with the Philadelphia Bass Busters. Super excited for that. Another one. Just definitely hit the mother load. So I think I'm going to head down the creek a bit. See if I can find maybe, I don't know, a tree in the water or something. They say don't leave fish to find fish, but I want to see if there's any different fish. Crappy sunfish, maybe white perch instead of yellow perch. So I'm gonna go down here and see if I can find anything. Now this is what I'm talking about. There's gotta be some fish hold up on this tree. So try around here for a bit, see if it pans out. There we go. Now that. Whew. Now that <laughs> is a nice size bluegill. Look at the look at the colors on that thing. That thing's pushing nine inches easy. Look at it. It's all purple, blue, gold, all sorts of crazy colors. Now that is a big wintertime bluegill. Whoop, see ya. <laughs> All right, well, we got something different. All right, that's it, folks. That's it for today's fishing adventure. This is a nice creek. I gotta come back here once it gets a little warmer. Maybe go for some bass. Maybe when this creek slows down too, they're really, they're really ripping that spillway. I'm going to make my uh, long trek back to the truck. I probably got, I don't know, a half mile walk. I don't want to put any of you through that misery. <laughs> so anyway, this is another episode of Fishing with Fish Call. I'm your host, Kevin. Peace out. Make sure that you check his YouTube channel, all right? Fishing with Fish Call, all right? <laughs>